Okay, we have some more discussions for you. We're talking about ZepBound too, right, Sam? Mm -hmm. Why not? Let's talk a little bit about it. The new wave of weight loss wonder drugs mm -hmm. that, you know, all right away you were suspicious about it, right? That have been hitting the market. Well, the makers of one of those drugs has released a new study that suggests the wonders may wear off once you stop taking it. I don't think that's, you know, astounding to hear, but you do want it studied and you want to know if that's in case what's happening. And so the study focused on the drug ZepBound. It's been popular really recently. It's sponsored by the study. It was sponsored by Eli Lilly. There you go. Important and, study. And, and it followed six... To know who pays for the study. Exactly. 670 <laughs> overweight or obese adults who took the, the one that you inject. It's the medication for nine months is mm -hmm. what the study was. And then half of the participants switched to a placebo shot. So over the next year, the study showed that those who continued taking the drug lost an average of 60 pounds. Meanwhile, those in the placebo group were down 22 pounds from their starting weight. And the study's author claimed that most of them would likely continue to regain the weight that they lost. But there were some other puzzling parts about it, too. About 1 in 10 people who continued on the drug mm -hmm. were also not able to maintain the weight. I think a couple of things here. It highlights that all human bodies are different, right? Mm -hmm. So it depends, and you're going to have to talk to your your, your provider, your, your doctor. Mm -hmm. But it's also, we've talked about the side effects of this stuff, too. Not to mention it's $1,000 a month without insurance. And there are also right. significant side effects that people run into, so like people, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, and people a bunch of People don't want to stay on it in perpetuity for right. that very reason. So I talked to Dr. Alicia Robbins. She's been on the show before, board certified OBGYN. She has prescribed these kinds of medications to her patients, and she has been able to do it in which they stay on it for about three months, get to the weight loss that they want to stay on, and ultimately get off of the drug. But these are people, specific people, yeah. who are motivated to keep the weight off. There's so, something about us. Lifestyle. Right. There's something about us that we just really want it to be easy. I want to lose weight, but I don't want to have to do any work and I want you to do it for me. And if you can give me a pill or give me a shot right. and I can go on with my day, that's great. Yeah. But in study and study and new thing after new thing, what we've learned about this is you may be able to use it to help you, but you really have to change what has gotten you heavy or mm -hmm. made you unhealthy in the first place. It's a behavior that likely we can, you know, kind of adjust. So if you use these things to adjust yourself, maybe they become helpful. But and I some think some people probably do have to stay on it. If you're like the people that you mentioned, obese mm -hmm. or chronically ill, which maybe what it's maybe designed you do for, have right? To stay on it. So yeah, yeah. 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 Well, but the, working with your doctor, everything. crucial. I mean, yeah. it's no surprise they're super popular, though. A part of this study revealed 70% of Americans are overweight or obese. 70%. And no doubt it has changed the game for weight loss. Yeah, and I will so, tell you, as yeah. getting the older body on the table, you know, once you get a few extra years on you, yeah. your metabolism changes. And so, you know, I'd love to eat spaghetti and pie every day and think that I can still fit into the genes <laughs> from high school, but that's not happening. Holiday yeah. <laughs> time doesn't count, right? No. Uh,